Oh my god, it's $50 for the Kindle edition? Fucking Christ, this book is from 2012. Oh my god. I guess I'm buying it. Just another, um, there's a specific claim that I'm arguing against. And the articles that talk about it reference a book, not from not from Fred Patton, but from some law person. McCavey Sunder, professor at Georgetown Law that wrote about the controversies. Aha! Here we are. Found it. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. You fuck- you re pff, you published a book during the same period- oh god. Yeah, this- this person- this person's full of shit! We got another person who wrote a book that's literally full of shit. I almost thought this book was written by a man and I was gonna say mentioned in his book, but then I searched up the name and it, it's a woman. It's an Ind Indian name, so I have no idea. Mudavi Sundar. The, the title of this book is a fucking mouthful, too. From Goods to a Good Life, Intellectual Property and, and Global Justice. I can't believe I found another book that's just full of shit on this subject. A fucking law professor just saying things that are, like, objectively untrue. <clears throat> so I'm going to... Now that I have this resource, I have to uh, feel obligated to like read through a bit of this and see if there's any fucking else, anything else on this subject. If I'm going to be doing research anyway. Brr. Oh no. She's listing like the book title says global justice, but I think what she means is social justice. <laughs> or maybe if it were published today, it would be called social justice. Cuz like this uh, in this section where she's talking about Kimba, she says it's a it's a claim of cultural appropriation. She's saying that the the Lion King ripping off Kimba is cultural appropriation. This this is what she's categorized it as. She spends a lot of time saying that uh, Hollywood rips off Bollywood, which is just fucking amusing to me, considering like how much, how much Bollywood is just blatant unauthorized ripoffs of other countries' films. Like, did you ever see that unauthorized Bollywood remake of Old Boy? It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the. She's an Indian professor, and she. This is the claim she's making is that. Is that like Hollywood rips off Bollywood? Steven Spielberg has been accused of copying the idea for E.T. the Extraterrestrial from legendary Indian filmmaker Satyajit, Satyajit, Satyajit Ray's 1962 script for The Alien. And then she goes on to mention the Kimba Lion King thing. Oh no! The basic story, plot, and setting are the same. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh no! Base. What do you mean by basic? If you remove ninety nine point nine percent of the Kimba plot, <sighs> fucking Polly was not an advisor. Polly was not the hero lion's advisor. He was just a random fucking bird. He was a random- he was his friend, and he was an angry asshole. He wasn't an advi- What are you talking- you haven't seen Kimba! Why are you writing this book? You haven't even seen Kimba! She probably just read Fred Patton's book! She probably literally just read Fred Patton's book! Yeah, this- this was fifty dollars for the Kindle edition! Fifty dollars! What the fuck?! This was published in, like, 2012 or something. I'm pretty sure Fred Patton's book was published earlier. Yeah, this is a different book by by a law professor at George Georgetown University. 
In both series, the lion cub doubts his ability to lead his people, and his father comes to him as a vision in the moon to embolden him. You haven't seen either of, like, these shows, then. What are you talking about? He doesn't show up in the moon in The Lion King. Also, Simba's not a cub by the time this happens. Kimba was, like, leading, ruling over shit from the moment he was born. Yeah, I gotta mention these. This is hilarious. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna make a screenshot of the $50 Kindle edition thing. That's so funny. Everybody's full of shit. Everybody's full of shit. The hardcover is $93. <laughs> the rabbit hole doesn't stop. It just keeps going deeper. Yeah, imagine being like a university student. That like had to buy that book and then I'm just like, yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> the basic story plot. I like how <laughs> the basic story plot, like missing a comma here, like grading your fucking, like the basic story plot. Is that supposed to just say story plot? The basic story plot. Just use one of those words. The basic story or the basic plot. How do you write a book about something that you don't know anything about? How do you write a book about something that you don't know anything about? Pretending like you're an authority on, on this subject. Like, no, I know anyone can write a book, but how can you in good conscience do it? Like, how do you not, how do you sleep at night, is what I'm asking. Both lion cubs eventually grow up and mate with their childhood playmate. That's not true! Kitty was not a childhood playmate. She literally showed up to be the love interest. She was from a different part of the jungle. The setting of the film and television series is similar. A rocky terrain, not the more common desert habitat that lions roam. Not really. No. <laughs> no, that's not true. Kimba lived in a jungle. The Lion King was kind of rocky terrain. Kimba was jungle. That's literally... It's the, the show is called Jungle Emperor. That's what the show is called. I can't believe this insane bullshit. All right, I guess there's more and it never ends. What does this mean? Ah! <laughs> Black ear tips fringe. <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> no! It never ends! <laughs> the stampede seems copy-pasted! Ah! 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 No! What? This is- this person doesn't even know what- This is from the sequel series in 1966! They don't even know what series they're referencing! They include clips from the Kimba series and they don't even know which ones! They don't even know which ones they're talking about! This isn't even- What?!
So, if she watched this video before writing her book, and she saw, like, the moon here, and then this, this ex incredibly low-res shot almost looks like he's coming from a moon. Maybe she didn't watch either of these two properties and just watched this YouTube video, and that's it. Right? That's the only reasonable explanation. Who the fuck hasn't watched The Lion King? Well, she she said that the Mufasa came into a... It, it's, it's, she said that Mufasa showed up in a moon. How else would she think that? What's funny, if she referenced Fred Patton's book, that's even more embarrassing because Fred Patton specifically states that the Kimba and Simba name similarity is not legitimate. And he explains why for the same reasons that I explained. So if she read his book and still included this shit, then either she didn't read it really or she forgot and she's a professor. She's a law professor. What the fuck? I don't understand what they're trying to say here. Mr. Tibbs. Hey, call me Mr. Is it trying to say that these very clear and obvious references to to older films, like like literal literal references to older films, are they, is this person trying to say that like imply that that means that they're ripping them off? Is that the implication here? Hey, call me Mr. Tibbs. Hey, call me Mr. That's an homage. Or homage, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's not a ripoff. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Uh-oh, they called him the pig. This is an homage. Are you talking to me? That's... You're so weird. You have no idea. Okay, I gotta... This is gonna copyright claim me. Bit. Did I watch this video before? There's... I, I can never fucking tell anymore. Did I watch this video already? I have no idea. I think I would remember this line, though. Scar... I, I don't think I've seen this video. Scar himself looks like for... Like foreign. Weak and with very female moves. <laughs> Scar himself looks like foreign. Weak and with very female moves. What? <laughs> uh, and this is a source in her book? <laughs> oh, God! What is going on? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, we got this again. And Simba was going to be white. And avoid fighting. Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker. Let's see if I can find this instrumental. Stampede during the Lion Cubs early years is a pivotal moment in the Cubs' lives. 
That just seems like she just plagiarized Fred Patton right there. Like, that's almost like the exact same phrasing. In both the TV series and the later film, a lightning bolt starts a forest fire and the rain puts it out. Like, you're literally just... You literally just read Fred Patton's book. Oh, my God. More, most importantly, there are several scenes of nearly identical cinematic and artistic expressions in the films. What are you talking about? Similarities even inspired a Simpsons parodies of the King's... Lion King's Mufasa, which appears in the... Blah, 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 blah. Mm. She just... Like, she didn't watch any of... Either of these shows. She didn't watch... Like, she clearly didn't watch Kimba. And based on what she says in here, it seems like she didn't even watch The Lion King. Because otherwise she wouldn't say all this stupid shit. This Kimba shit never ends. Never ends! All right. Um, she It literally, like, quite fucking honestly, it literally feels like she just plagiarized Fred Patton's book. Which is, I mean, like... I guess, like, it depends on your definition, because plagiarism would be, like, word for word. She's allowed to report on the same things and have the same perspective. But I do find it kind of fucking ironic that this is a law professor talking about copyright and using the Kimba controversy as one of the examples. But you essentially just lifted your opinions from somebody else and don't have an original idea or thought in your head. Like, you literally, you didn't watch Kimba. That much is clear. You didn't watch the show. You're just parroting what other people are saying, and yet your claim is that it's wrong for the Lion King to have lifted from Kimba, but you are lifting from other people. Is that not, like, hypocritical? Observers call the similarities striking. Like, other people said this. Yeah, and then she talks about... Yeah, here's here's the part. Here's the reason why I I got this book in the first place. Animation experts and historians have argued that Disney's claim of ignorance of Tezuka is likely disingenuous, given the prevalence of the master animators' work in the United States from the late 1960s and on the frequency of Disney's own executives' travel to Japan, including Tokyo Disneyland. The Lion King co-director Roger Allers himself lived in Tokyo and worked in animation there in the 1980s, during which time Tezuka was alive and already well-known as Japan's Walt Disney. A remake of Jungle Emperor aired in prime time on Japanese television contemporaneously. That means at the same time. And that is not true, because Allers left Japan in 1985 to work on various other projects that you can fact-check for your fucking self on IMDb. He was in Los Angeles. Like, there are many... Like, he literally wasn't there during... In 1989, when this series first aired in Japan. So you're literally lying to people in this book, and I don't know why. Why would you say that? Again, with cultural appropriation... I like how some of the sources are The Lion King and Kimba the White Lion, even though she clearly hasn't watched either of them, <laughs> like, based on what she's saying, at least. What? Sorry. So, the... Oh, my God. Okay. So, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This is, doesn't make any sense. So... Okay, let's 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 break this down for a second. The pla charges of plagiarism have leveled at Disney well before the Linda family suit. Blah 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 blah. Kimba the White Lion by the master Japanese animator Osamu Tezuka. Tezuka has long been hailed as the father of Japanese anime and the Walt Disney of J Japan. His well-known anime, well-known anime series Kimba the White Lion, based on manga serial Jungle Emperor. And then this footnote link, this footnote link, as she's talking about the manga. And she never, to my knowledge, once even mentions the 1997 film. And yet you click on the footnote and it says, Jungle Emperor, Tezuka Productions, 1997. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This doesn't make, this is the worst book I've ever fucking read in my, oh, what is wrong with people? This doesn't make any sense. You're talking about the manga. You're referencing the 1997 film in the footnote? What is this? Copyright 1997 when you click when you click on the footnote for the manga. Copyright 1997. She's a law professor at Georgetown University. Like that's whose book I'm reading. Literally.
literally that it's a she's a law professor is she legally allowed to just lie in her book <laughs> like law professor <laughs> and she's sourced in these articles do not harass this person i'm making it very clear right now do not harass this person <laughs> But, oh my god, like, why would you put your name on a book of lies? <laughs> it would be pretty difficult for her to sue me over literally stating factual inaccuracies about her published works. Also, living in a different country, so I don't give a shit. If she copyright claims my YouTube video, that'll be a good Streisand effect. Ugh. I don't like how deep this rabbit hole is. It's genuinely frustrating... And annoying. And I don't like this that I'm, I have to make this video. But I have to make it. Like, you're a law professor. You're a law professor. <laughs> sourcing, sourcing shitty Windows Movie Maker YouTube videos. <laughs> and the 97 film when talking about the manga. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this is probably my most thoroughly researched video, though. I've never read books for a video. Do I like butts? <sighs> sure. Dick or ass? Dick. This might be the most autistic video I've ever made. But that's a good thing, because you want to see, like, autistically researched videos, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Special shout out to my five dollar nut patrons, Lemonade Warrior. Out fucking goddamn it! <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Special shout out to my five dollar nut patrons, Lemonade Warrior, Alex Lonsbro, Brandon Stuper, Mecha Dong, Pit Wang, Rasmus, and Tequila Cinema. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Wa 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 Cuz like I looped it in my version right Wa 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 wa